So yo guys, so I've been working on the rifle and its function is basically done. I've installed a stronger spring in it, so hopefully it'll uh, discharge, uh, it will fire these primers I've been working. So I've been testing multiple types of primers. So this, the primer I'm using right now is from a pop cap gun, cap gun. So, and then I put it into soda can, soda can uh, primer cups. So they, the first two rounds I'm loading is just the primer without any matchsticks, any propellant. So I, let's test it out. So the first uh, bullet I'm loading is a primer without a paper cup inside the primer, primer cup. Doesn't have any paper disc. So that's the first round and the second round has the paper inside so i'm loading that too so we are we are we are live so test one three two one so the primer without the paper didn't fire successfully so i'm gonna charge it again i'm gonna cock it three two one successful so it's failure to eject I'm gonna remove the magazine uh, so right. so the half part of the cartridge got stuck inside so I need a tool to take it out so as a closer inspection so this piece this piece was stuck inside the barrel and this piece the nine millimeter round was sheared off when i tried to eject it so the half of the cartridge because since because my cartridges are a composite between the real thing and paper paper so the the cartridge part the nine mil sheared off so it result it resulted into this so that's not good so i have to redesign my cartridges next time so and for the extractor uh, the part sheared off so i think i have to remake the extractor as you can see that's sheared off so I fixed the problem with the extractor and the stuck cartridge. So I'm gonna test fire the second blank round. So this is the one with the paper paper disc inside the primer cup. So I'm loading it, only one. Insert. Three, two, one. Failure to fire. Failure to fire again. Okay, so it's actually hot, but the primer seems to be crushed, so I don't think this will fire anymore. So I, the second test is a cartridge with a primer cup that doesn't have the paper and has five match heads so i'm loading it it's, it's loaded firing three two one failure to fire didn't think i'm gonna recock it three two one didn't fire again I'm gonna eject the round. Once again, the primer is crushed, but it didn't fire. So that's a dead round. So this one has another, both of these cartridges is uh, 10 match heads and it has the paper cup inside, the paper cup. So I'm gonna load one round first. And then I'm gonna test the last round with the 
suppressor without the bath baffle. So this is ten match head. Okay, three, two, one. Failure to fire again. crushed the primer once again maybe it's the firing pin I'll disassemble it real quick Fire pin, firing pin seems to be okay I'm gonna reassemble it real quick alright this was the crash round I'm gonna recycle it. Loaded. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Good, good shot, good shot. Ejecting. Failure to eject. The magazine's okay. The extractor is died. Yeah, this extractor is dead. After the firing test of the 10 match sticks cartridge, the gun refused to eject, so I disassembled the whole thing. So I found multiple cracks in the firing pin, the bolt, and the bolt body. So let's dive deeper into the parts. So first things first is the bolt. So the bolt has a massive crack along this line and then it goes out here. So what, be what happened was the cartridge that sits over here, the pressure leaked out from the, from the primer and then it exploded and then exploded like this so like as you can see i can move the thing exploded like this so it made a weak spot so i'll probably just uh super glue super glue re-super glue this part and make it i don't think i can make it beefier though so i might super glue this part as a simple fix and for the bolt body since this part expanded this too also expanded and it has a crack along this line and then it cuts through here so it also expanded like this so once again i'm not gonna remake the whole bolt body but i'll just uh remove the filling here and then reapply some super glue and baking soda formulation so and then i'm gonna i'm gonna clean out this portion and for the e firing the extractor i mean this piece was fi i fixed it during the first firing but i tried fixing it again for the second firing but it's it's simply just too weak so I'll probably make a new firing, uh, ex uh, ejector, extractor, I mean, extractor. And then I'll make this part beefier by uh, making it protrude a bit more like this and then making it thicker in general. And the piece also bent after it fired. So that's basically it for the first firing tests i hope uh, it'll work out after the firing of the the 10 match head uh, cartridge this was the result of its primer cup as you can see it it pancaked the the primer cup and then it also punctured the primer cup so that's why there's there was a lot of gas 
that vented out the gun so and this was also this is also a 10 match head which i didn't take a video of so uh, this makes me conclude that 10 match heads is too much for for these types of primer cups so i might develop a new type of primer cup so and these ones are from the blanks i made so these doesn't have any match match sticks in them only the the propellant uh, only the primer compound so as you can see again it's all punctured so that's not a good thing so the first thing i might do is i might uh I might uh, re change. I might change the profile of the firing pin because this profile, it's simply too sharp because it it makes a hole. So I might do that. And the second thing is I might change the way I make the primer cups because how I make the primer cups is I take I take soda cup soda metal like this hold up so the metal like this and then i cut it into a disc a disc like like this and then i use the cartridge of the nine mil to basically punch and make cups like these so i made i might change this soda can for maybe a copper a copper piece of steel copper piece of uh, plate like something like this so I don't know I, I might find it online but I'm not really sure at the moment so I'll figure it out next maybe next couple of videos thanks for watching